Hello and welcome back to Open. Uh, you know, always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Don't forget to tweet us at BronxNet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too at Rena Valentine. Would love to hear from you. <laughs> All right. So on Thursday, December 15th, uh, comedian Ellie Saldi Castro returns to Casita Maria for his comedy show, Hibaro Soy, My Life in Three Parts. <laughs> <laughs> the evening will be filled with live bomba, plena, and parranda as Castro performs pieces from three of his shows, all while this being an event, uh, a fundraiser for Casita Maria. Uh, here to share more, we welcome Luis Pagan from Casita Maria. And joining us on the phone is Elisandi Castro. And the reason I pulled out my earplug is because he was talking to somebody while he was on the phone. Hello, Elisandi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I have Luis Pagan here um, at the table as well. And while I was introducing you on camera, you were having a conversation with somebody in your house. No, no, I'm actually at the airport. You're at the airport. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's oh, time. yeah, we're on a, I'm on a way at some shows in Chicago. So, in in the aeropuerto, tú sabes, en esta locura siempre hay gente este, making your life a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I guess your next show is going to be about the airport, huh? I <laughs> mean, yeah, that would be a marathon show. I could do that all night. <laughs> I think it's a great concept, but, you know, thank you for making the time to be with us even by phone at the airport, no less. Oh, uh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. So um, we're going to talk a little bit to Luis uh, about the Casita Maria, and then uh -huh. we'll talk a little bit about your show. So just share with everyone um, exactly what's going on at Casita Maria. There's like this whole transitioning and like a whole new uh, administrative group and, and all this fabulous art and just performances coming out of there. Well, yeah, Casita Maria is really doing it's, it's doing really really good things. Are you talking to me or is somebody else? I was talking to Luis. <laughs> He's here. Okay. You know Luis Pagan? No, we never oh. formally met. Oh, you never formally met. No. So I have somebody here, representative from Casita Maria. Yes. Ah, even, even better, but let him do the talking. <laughs> well, he could, no, 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 no. Don't you go anywhere. Don't yeah. get distracted at the airport. I'm let, just saying. Let, 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 let Luis talk about my show, too. Dale, Luis, dale. Mira, well, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a conversation, tu sabes. So, um, yeah, Casita Maria, there is, we have uh, a turnover. There's new leadership, so we're doing, uh, we're planning a lot of great new things. So even myself, this is my second week as the new marketing and media manager. Nice, congratulations. So, oh, thank you. So it's, it's just about promoting the community, promoting arts and culture, uh, sustaining, and, um, and just continue to expose the children to what is going on and what we have to offer as artists, as educators, and also um, having Ali Zardi um, perform again uh, with us is it's just phenomenal. Well, you know, one of the things is, uh, that people should know is that Casita Maria has their own building in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx. Yes. And then there's a school inside of the building. That is correct. And, so, and then we have Ali Sagdi, who's traveling all over the United States with his loqueria, <laughs> who somehow has, has grown very fond of Casita Maria and does these performances to raise funds for Casita Maria. Yes, absolutely. And why is Elizabeth, that? Are you there? Elizabeth, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm yeah. enjoying this. I'm You're really <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just out of curiosity, like, what what is your your love for Casita Maria ever ever uh, ever since com having come and visit? That you you come and you perform to raise funds for them. Well, I think uh, ever since I first saw it, I first visited, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with um, with the people and the vibe there. It was something that I wish I had growing up. I didn't I didn't have that that access to culture and that love of not just our culture, but, but for our community. Uh, and I've always felt that any, any time I have an opportunity to give back uh, to an organization like Casita Maria, uh, I will always do it. And it's just, it's, it's a love that I get from, it, from, from that audience that is different. In other words, it's, it's almost like performing for family. And uh, I, I enjoyed it the first time and I'm looking forward to it in, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, I actually, I was there for your performance made in Puerto Rico with my daughter. That was me. That was there with my daughter in the front seat that thought she was part of your show. Oh, that was you with your daughter. Yes. Yeah. That was you with your daughter. Okay, the rest were just men with their sons. Oh. That was you with your daughter. Okay, papi, ahora me recuerdo. Sí, 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 la que tenía la hija. Y al frente. Sí, me recuerdo. Perfectamente, me recuerdo perfectamente. She used to, no, you, 
Come on, you're you you're pulling me, right? I mean, you you're driving me that there. That was me. That was me with the hair and the and the and, the, and I had the, the shoes, the taco. Remember me? Yeah, yeah claro, claro que sí. And sí, I, sí, sí. and yeah, I don't think I was wearing a coat because it, it was uh, it was still warm that uh, when you came. Yeah. So yeah. No, but, uh, but Casita Maria was beautiful because I performed for the community. But I think earlier on, I, I performed for the kids as well. Well, what uh, I love about your show is that it is family friendly, and that's why I brought up the fact absolutely. that I was there with my daughter. Um, because yeah. you know, you, normally you go to stand up comedy shows, and there's a lot of vulgarity. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it's really refreshing to take my daughter to a stand up comedy show or just a performance comedy show. Because you're more than just stand up. You you're quite yeah. the character <laughs> isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't that nice though you know and all my shows are clean like that and i and i and I'm, i take great pride in that because i love when people come up to me and they and they tell me that because i want to create a, an environment where families can enjoy something together where they can laugh together y eso se falta, especially in our community right porque muchas veces, you know, the older generation, you know, will tune into a novela on Univision, mm -hmm. and the younger generation will tune into something on MTV. Right. And, and there's, we don't have anything in between where we can say, you know what, mommy ven acá, tío ven acá, nene ven acá, and let's all enjoy this and watch this together. And, and I've, I've always taken great, great pride in that. Because let me tell you something, nobody's ever gone up to a, a comedian que, que usa vulgarity or, que, you know, who's blue, Nobody's ever gone out to him after a show and gone, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for keeping this dirty, you know? Right. Thank right. you for making this really dirty being, you know. But but people come up to me and they go, listen, thank you for, for keeping me clean. And right. that's that's a big deal for me. So all my shows, yo quiero que la familia salga y que lo disfruten because they will leave there laughing and they will leave there talking about it and days after they'll still be talking about it you know and they'll be sharing it together and for me that kind of family experience is is what it's all about oh my gosh yeah I, i'm so there with you and yeah. the fact that you take such orgullo in, in your cultura um and they're they're kind of wrapping us up but really quickly i i just want to share with our audience uh what we what to expect in in you doing uh, pieces from uh various uh, uh three of, of your shows right you're doing yes. three of your shows like uh, pieces from three of your shows right yeah he also yeah, includes uh pieces of three of my shows which is capicu which is my whole spanish uh play so I'll be doing a part uh, as my grandfather, Abuelito. Mm -hmm. And then it'll include a part of Law and Disorder, which mm -hmm. is my time as a criminal attorney. Um, and then it'll include parts of Made in Puerto Rico, which is about our, our culture and, and trying to assimilate um, both cultures together. Um, so I have six total shows, but Hibar is always a special show, show because it allows me to combine those three shows, but with a Christmas kind of festive feeling. Nice. So, yeah. ser, va, hay, hay parranda. Hay, claro que hay parranda. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Las parrandas empiezan en noviembre y se acaban en marzo. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you rest? Do you rest? Oh my God. Talk about a marathon. You're ready on that marathon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. It's my favorite uh, six months of the year. Oh, wow. Thank you wow. so much for, for having a moment to, to speak with us while at the airport in tra uh, commuting. <laughs> uh, thank you, Luis Absolutely. Aldi. And uh, Luis, uh, do you have any last words to say about Casita Maria? And I, congratulations on your new position oh, there. Oh, thank you. Well, no, I just want to emphasize this is a fundraiser, and um, it would be nice if, if people could come out and the community come out to enjoy the show. It's only $20 for a ticket, and you can bring your better, better, children. Better. Only twenty dollars. Exactly, because you know, right, so it's it's right. for the community. Yeah. <laughs> okay, venga, exactly. <laughs> and let me tell you something right now. I always say this, and I say this humbly. Uh, you will never see a show like this, ever. You just won't, because our you know our people always come to check it out, and I always get this after the shows. They always go, ah oh, man, pero si llegó a saber que iba a ser así. I go, ah, mi tía, mi amigo, mi hermano. You know what I mean? No, I, I, I know what you I'm mean. I hope they're yeah. getting it because I, I was there. I stamped that, too. It's it's definitely an experience, and you're definitely going to walk out of there feeling very proud to be Latino. 
I'm going to bring it. Okay? He's okay. going to bring it, okay? Uh, we look uh, forward to it. <laughs> all right. Elizaldi Castro <laughs> on phone. Luis Pagan here representing Casita Maria. And for you guys, once again, Hibaro Soy, My Life in Three Parts, will be taking place on Thursday, December 15th at Casita Maria, located on 928 Simpson Street in the Bronx. And for more information, you can visit casitamaria.org. All right, we're taking a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.